Section 33 of The Natural History, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joyce Martin. The Natural History, Volume 1, by Pliny the Elder, translated by John Bostock and Henry Thomas Riley. Section 33. Chapter 29. Caria. Upon the adjoining coast is Caria, then Ionia, and beyond it Aeolus. Caria surrounds Doris, which lies in the middle and runs down on both sides of it to the sea. In it is the promontory of Padalium, the river Galucus, into which the Timendium discharges itself, the towns of Dedala, Crya, peopled by fugitives, the river Axon, and the town Kalinda. The river Indus, which rises in the mountains of the Sibirate, receives sixty-five rivers, which are constantly flowing, besides upwards of one hundred mountain torrents. Here is the free town of Caunos, then the town of Parnos, the port of Crisa, from which the island of Rhodes is distant twenty miles the place where Lorima formerly stood, the towns of Tiseusa, Peridion, and Larimna, the Gulf of Thaminus, the promontory of Aphrodiasis, the town of Hydra, the Gulf of Shonus, and the district of Babusus. There was formerly the town of Acanthus here, another name of which was Dilopolis. We then come to Cenidos, a free town, situate on a promontory, Triopia, and after that the towns of Pegusa and Stadia. At this last town Doris begins, but, first, it may be as well to describe the districts that lie to the back of Caria and the several jurisdictions in the interior. The first of these is called Siberatica, Siberia being a town of Fergus, Twenty-five states resort to it for legal purposes, together with the most famous city of Laodicea. This place at first bore the name of Diospolis, and after that of Roas, and is situate on the river Lycus, the Aesops, and the Capurus washing its sides. The other people belonging to the same jurisdiction, whom it may be not amiss to mention, are the Hydrolite, the Themisiones, and the Hierapolite. The second jurisdiction receives its title from Sinanus. To it resort the Lacaones, the Apiani, the Eucarpeni, the Dorileae, the Medei, the Julienses, and fifteen other peoples of no note. The third jurisdiction has its seat at Apamea, formerly called Salani. After that, Sibotos. This place is situate at the foot of Mount Signia. The Marsias, the Obrima, and the Orga rivers, which fall into the meander flowing past it. Here the Marsias, rising from the earth, again makes its appearance, but soon after buries itself once more at Allo Serenae, the spot where Marsias had the musical contest with Apollo as to superiority of skill in playing on the flute. Alla Serena is the name given to a valley which lies ten miles on the road toward Phrygia from Apames. As belonging to this jurisdiction, it may be as well to mention the Metropolitae, the Dionysopolitae, the Euphorbenae, the Achmonenses, the Peltenae, the Silbiani, besides nine other nations of no note. Upon the Gulf of Doris we have Luscopolis, Hamaxitos, Eulis, and Euthene. We then come to Pitaeum, Euthene, and Halicarnassus, towns of Caria. To the jurisdiction of this last place, six towns were appended by Alexander the Great, the Angela, Sibde, Medmasa, Eurylium, Pedusus, and Talmisus. Halicarnassus lies between two gulfs, those of Ceramus and Iasus. We then come to Mindos and the former site of Paleomindos, also Nariandos, Neapolis, Caranda, the free town of Termera, Bargaila, and the town of Iasus, from which the Iasian Gulf takes its name. 
Caria is especially distinguished for the fame of its places in the interior, for here are Mylasa, a free town, and that of Antiocha, on the site of the former towns of Cymenthos and Creneos. It is now surrounded by the rivers Meander and Orsinus. In this district also was formerly Meandropolis. We find also Eumania, situate on the river Cluderos, the river Gallicus, the town of Lysias and Orthosa, the district of Berisinthus, Nysa, and Trielus, also called Euanthia, Seleucia, and Antiochia. It is washed by the river Eudon, while the Thebaeus runs through it. Some authors say that a nation of pygmies formerly dwelt here. Besides the preceding towns, there are Thydonos, Pyraha, Eurome, Heracula, Amazon, the free town of Alabanda, which has given name to that jurisdiction, the free town of Stratonicea, Hynidos, Ceramus, Tyrosine, and Ferrantes. At a greater distance, but resorting to the same place of jurisdiction, are the Othroanienses, the Alindienses, or Hippini, the Zistiani, the Hydicienses, the Apolloniate, the Trapezopolite, and the Aphrodisienses, a free people. Besides the above, there are the towns of Cosinus and Harpasa, situate on the river Harpasus, which also passed the town of Trelisan when it was in existence. Chapter 30 Lydia Lydia, bathed by the sinuous and ever-recurring windings of the river Meander, lies extended above Ionia. It is joined by Phargia on the east and Mycia on the north, while on the south it runs up to Caria. It formerly had the name of Maonia. Its place of the greatest celebrity is Sardis, which lies on the side of Mount Timolus, formerly called Timolus. From this mountain, which is covered with vineyards, flows the river Pactolus, also called the Chrysoroes, and the sources of the Tarnas. This famous city, which is situate upon the Gygean lake, used to be called Hyde by the people of Maonia. This jurisdiction is now called that of Sardes, and besides the people of the places already mentioned, the following now resort to it, the Mycedonian Cauduani, the Lorani, the Philadelphani, the Maoni, situate on the river Cogemus at the foot of Mount Tomlus, the Tripolitani, who are also called the Antoniopolite, situate on the banks of the Meander, the Apollo Nihirate, the Mesotimolate, and some others of no note. Chapter 31 Ionia Ionia begins at the Gulf of Iosus, and has a long, winding coast with numerous bays. First comes the Gulf of Basilicum, then the promontory and town of Posidium, and the oracle once called the Oracle of the Branchidae, but now of the Demian Apollo, a distance of twenty stadia from the seashore. One hundred and eighty stadia thence is Miletus, the capital of Ionia, which formerly had the names of Lelegius, Piteusa, and Anacotoria, the mother of more than ninety cities founded upon all seas nor must she be deprived of the honor of having Cadmus for her citizen, who was the first to write in prose. The river Meander, rising from a lake in the Mount Olocerne, waters many cities and receives numerous tributary streams. It is so serpentine in its course that it is often thought to turn back to the very spot from which it came. It first runs through the district of Apamea, then that of Eumenia, and then the plains of Bergaila, after which, with a placid stream, it passes through Caria, watering all that territory with a slime of a most fertilizing quality, and then at a distance of ten stadia from Miletus, with a gentle current, enters the sea. We then come to Mount Latmus, the towns of Herculea, also called by the same name as the mountain Caris, Maius, said to have been first built by Onians who came from Athens, Nolocum, and Parine. Upon that part of the coast which bears the name of Trogilia is the river Gesus. This district is held sacred by all the Ionians, and thence receives the name of Panionia. Near to it was formerly the town of Phagella, 
built by fugitives, as its name implies, and that of Marthesium. Above these places is Magnesia, distinguished by the surname of the Meandrian, and sprung from the Magnesia in Thessaly. It is distanced from Ephesus fifteen miles and three more from Tralles. It formerly had the name of Thessalicae and Androlida, and lying on the seashore it has withdrawn from the sea the islands known as the Deracidae, and joined them to the mainland. In the interior also is Thyatira, washed by the Lycus. For some time it was also called Pelopia and Euhippia. Upon the coast again is Mantium and Ephesus, which was founded by the Amazons, and formerly called by so many names, Alopus at the time of the Trojan War, after that Ortigia and Morges, and then Smyrna with the surname of Trachea, as also Samornian and Petalia. This city is built on Mount Pion and is washed by the Keister, a river which rises in the Kybelian range and brings down the waters of many streams, as also of Lake Pegasus, which receives those discharged by the river Phoretes. From these streams there accumulates a large quantity of slime, which vastly increases the soil and has added to the mainland the island of Syrai, which now lies in the midst of its plains. In this city is the fountain of Calypia and the temple of Diana, which last is surrounded by two streams, each known by the name of Selenus, and following from opposite directions. After leaving Ephesus there is another Mantium, belonging to the Colophonians, and in the interior Colophon itself, past which the river Halesus flows. After this we come to the temple of the Clarion Apollo, and Lebedus, the city of Notium, once stood here. Next comes the promontory of Coruscium, and then Mount Mimas, which projects 150 miles into the sea, and as it approaches the mainland sinks down into extensive plains. It was at this place that Alexander the Great gave orders for the plain to be cut through a distance of seven miles and a half for the purpose of joining the two gulfs and making an island of Erethari and Mimas. Near Erethari formerly stood the towns of Petelion, Helos, and Dorion. We now find the river Allian, Coronaeum, a promontory of Mount Mimas, Clazomenae, Parthenae, and Hippi, known by the name of Chytrophoria. When it formed a group of islands, these were united to the continent by the same Alexander by means of a causeway two stadia in length. In the interior, the cities of Daphnus, Hermesia, and Siphylum, formerly called Tantalus, and the capital of Moenia, where Lake Sale now stands, are now no longer in existence. Archaeopolis, too, which succeeded Siphylum, has perished, and in her turns, Clope and Libadne, which succeeded it. On returning thence toward the coast, at a distance of twelve miles, we find Smyrna, originally founded by an Amazon of that name, and rebuilt by Alexander. It is refreshed by the river Miles, which rises not far off. Through this district run what may almost be called the most famous mountains of Asia, Mastusia in the rear of Smyrna, and Termitus joining the foot of Olympus. Termitus is joined by Draco, Draco running into Tmolus, Tmolus into Cadmus, and Cadmus into Taurus. Leaving Smyrna, the river Hermus forms a tract of plains and gives them its own name. It rises near Dorylaeum, a city of Phrygia, and in its course receives several rivers, among them the one called the Phryx, which divides Caria from the nation to which it gives name, also the Hylus and the Cryos, themselves swollen by the rivers Phrygia, Mysia, and Lydia. At the mouth of the Hermus formerly stood the town of Temnos. We now see at the extremity of the gulf the rocks called Mermexis, the town of Luce on a promontory which was once an island, and Phocea, the frontier town of Ionia. A great part also of Aeolia, of which we shall have presently to speak, has recourse to the jurisdiction of Smyrna, as well as the Macedones, surnamed Hyrcani, and the Magnetes from Syphilis, but to Ephesus, that other great luminary of Asia, 
resort the more distant peoples known as the Sacerneses, the Metropolite and the Sibiani, both the lower and upper, the Mysomacedones, the Masterenses, the Briolite, the Hypepeni, and the Dioscerite. Chapter 32. Aeolus. Aeolus comes next, formerly known as Mycia, and Troas, which is adjacent to the Hellespont. Here, after passing Phocea, we come to the Ascian port, then the spot where Larissa stood, and then Cerne, Marina, also called Sabastopolis, and the interior Agai, Atalia, Posadia, Neonticos, and Temnos. Upon the shore we come to the river Titanus, and the city which from it derives its name. Gurnia also stood there on an island reclaimed from the sea and joined to the land. Now only its harbors are left. We then come to the town of Ilea, the river Caicus, which flows from Mycia, the town of Pitane, and the river Caneos. The following towns no longer exist. Cane, Lysimachia, Aternia, Carine, Sisthene, Sila, Sicilium, Theba, Astrae, Crisa, Palisipsus, Gurgitha, and Neandros. We then come to the city of Perperne, which still survives, the district of Heraculetes, the town of Corypheus, the rivers Grylios and Olius, the region of Aphrodiasis, which formerly had the name of Police Orgas, the district of Sepsus, and the river Avinus, on whose banks the towns of Larnisos and Malitos have fallen to decay. In this district also is Mount Ida, and on the coast, Adramateos, formerly called Pedesus, which gives its name to the gulf and the jurisdiction so called. The other rivers are the Astron, Cormelos, Sirenos, Alabastros, and Hyeros, flowing from Mount Ida. In the interior is Mount Gargara, with a town of the same name. Again, on the coast, we meet with Antandros, formerly called Adonis, and after that Simiris and Asoas, also called Apollonia. The town of Palamedium also formerly stood here. The promontory of Lecton separates Aeolus from Troas. In Aeolus there was formerly the city of Palamedia, as also Chrysia, and a second Larissa. The temple of Simenthius is still standing. Colonae, in the interior, has perished. To Adramidium resort upon matters of legal business the Apolloniate, whose town is on the river Riandicus, and Arisi, the Militopolite, the Pomanie, the Macedonian, Asquilese, the Policine, and the Pionte, the Sicilian Mandascandi, and the Mycia, the Abertini, the people known as the Hellespanti, and others of less note. End of section 33, recording by Joyce Martin. Section 34 of The Natural History, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joyce Martin The Natural History, Volume 1, by Pliny the Elder, translated by John Bostock and Henry Thomas Riley. Section 34 Chapter 33 Troas and the Adjoining Nations The first place in Troas is Hamaxitus, then Sebrenia, and then Troas itself, formerly called Antigonia, and now Alexandria, a Roman colony. We then come to the town of Ni, and Scamander, a navigable river, and the spot where in former times the town of Sigeum stood upon a promontory. We next come to the port of the Achaeans, into which the Xanthus flows after its union with the Simoius and forms the palace commander, which was formerly a lake. The other rivers rendered famous by Homer, namely the Rhesus, the Heptapurus, the Carisus, and the Rhodius, have left no vestiges of their existence. 
the Granicus, taking a different route, flows into the Propontis. The small city of Scamandria, however, still exists, and at a distance a mile and a half from its harbour. Ilium, a place exempt from tribute, the fountainhead of universal fame. Beyond the gulf are the shores of Rotium, peopled by the towns of Rotium, Dardanium, and Arispi. There was also in former times a town of Achillion, founded near the tomb of Achilles, by the people of Mytilene, and afterwards rebuilt by the Athenians, close to the spot where his fleet had been stationed near Sigium. There was also the town of Aeantion, founded by the Rhodians, upon the opposite point, near the tomb of Ajax, at a distance of thirty stadia from Sigium, near the spot where his fleet was stationed. Above Aeolus and part of Troas, in the interior, is the place called Teutherania, inhabited in ancient times by the Mycenaeans. Here rises the river Caicus, already mentioned. Teutherania was a powerful nation in itself, even when the whole of Aeolus was held by the Mycenaeans. In it are the Paeoni, Andaria, Andrea, Cael, Stubulum, Conicium, Teum, Balsea, Tiare, Teutherne, Sarneca, Halicerne, Lycide, Parthenium, Timbre, Oxypum, Ligdamum, Apollonia, and Pergamum, by far the most famous city in Asia, and through which the river Salinus runs, the Cetius, which rises in Mount Pindasus, flowing before it. Not far from it is Alea, which we have mentioned as situate on the seashore. The jurisdiction of this district is called that of Pergamos. To it resort the Thyatireni, the Moisni, the Migdones, the Brigemni, the Hierocomente, the Perperene, the Tiarene, the Hierolofinenses, the Hermocapolate, the Atalenses, the Pantenses, the Apollonidienses, and some other states unknown to fame. The little town of Dardanum is distant from Rotium, seventy stadia. Eighteen miles thence is the promontory of Trapeza, from which spot the Hellespont first commences its course. Aristosthenes tells us that in Asia there have perished the nations of Solimi, the Laliges, the Babrises, the Colsanti, and the Tripsedri. Isidorus adds to these the Arimi, as also the Capratae settled on the spot where Apamea stands, which was founded by King Seleucus, between Sicilia, Cataonia, and Armenia, and was at first called Demea, from the fact that it had conquered nations most remarkable for their fierceness. Chapter 34 The Islands Which Lie in Front of Asia of the islands which lie before Asia, the first is the one situate on the canopic mouth of the Nile, and which received its name, it is said, from Canopus, the pilot of Menelaus. A second, called Piraeus, is joined by a bridge to Alexandria, and was made a colony by the dictator Caesar. In former times it was one day's sail from the mainland of Egypt. At the present day it directs ships in their course by means of the fires which are lighted at night on the tower there, for in consequence of the insidious nature of the shoals, there are only three channels by which Alexandria can be approached, those of Stegacnus, Poseidon, and Taurus. In the Phoenician Sea, before Joppe, there is the island of Paria, the whole of it forming a town. Here, they say, Andromeda was exposed to the monster. The island also of Aratus, already mentioned, between which and the continent, as we learn from Musianus, at a depth of fifty cubits in the sea, fresh water is brought up from a spring at the very bottom by means of leather pipes. Chapter 35. Cyprus The Pamphylian Sea contains some islands of little note. The Sicilian, besides four others of very considerable size, has Cyprus, which lies opposite to the shores of Sicilia and Syria, running east and west. In former times it was the seat of nine kingdoms. 
Timosthenes states that the circumference of this island is 427 miles, Isidorus 375. Its length between the two promontories of Diane and Achaemenes, lying on the west, is according to Artemidorus 160 and a half miles, according to Timosthenes 200. Philonidas says that it was formerly called Achaemantus, Xernochorus that it had the names of Serastus, Aspelia, Amethusia, and Macaria, while Astonomus gives it the name of Croptos and Colonia. Its towns are fifteen in number, Neapaphos, Palapapos, Curias, Citium, Corineum, Salamis, Amanthus, Lepothos, Soloe, Tamosos, Epidarum, Chatiri, Arsino, Carpassium, and Golgi. The towns of Ceneria, Marium, and Edalium are no longer in existence. It is distant from Annamarium in Sicilia, fifty miles, the sea which runs between the two shores being called the Channel of Sicilia. In the same locality is the island of Eleusia, and the four islands known as the Clides, lying before the promontory which faces Syria, and again at the end of the other cape, Isteria, over against Nepophilus is Hierocopia, and opposite to Salamis are the Salamini. In the Lycian Sea are the islands of Elyris, Talendos, and Atalabusa. The three barren isles called Sipari and Dionysia, formerly called Caritha. Opposite to the promontory of Taurus are the Chelidoni, as many in number and extremely dangerous to mariners. Further on we find Lucola with its town, the Pactii, Lacia Nymphaisus, Lacia Nymphaeus, Macris and Magista, the city on which last no longer exists. After these there are many that are not worthy of notice. Opposite, however, to Cape Chimera is Dolachiste, Coriagolan, Corogalian, Crambusa, Roge, Enagora, eight miles in circumference, the two islands of Dedala, the three of Crya, Strongyle, and over against Sidmaya, the isle of Antiochus. Toward the mouth of the river Galacus there are Lagusia, Macris, Didymi, Helbo, Scope, Asipus, Talandria, the town of which no longer exists, and in the vicinity of Colnus, Rodusa. Chapter 36. Rhodes. But the fairest of them all is the free island of Rhodes, 125, or, if we would rather believe, Isidorus, 103 miles in circumference. It contains the inhabited cities of Lindos, Camirus, and Iolysus, now called Rhodos. It is distant from Alexandria in Egypt, according to Isidorus, 583 miles, but according to Erythosthenes, 469. Mucianus says that its distance from Cyprus is 166. This island was formerly called Ophiusa, Asteria, Ithria, Triancre, Corymbia, Pioesa, Atabiria, from the name of one of its kings, and in later times Macaria and Oloessa. The islands of the Rhodians are Carpathias, which has given its name to the surrounding sea. Casas, formerly known as Acne, Nisyros, twelve miles distant from Sindos, and formerly called Porphyrus, and in the same vicinity midway between Rhodes and Snidos Simne. This island is thirty-seven miles and a half in circumference, and welcomes us with eight fine harbors. Besides these islands, there are in the vicinity of Rhodes those of Cyclopus, Teganon, Cordelusa, the four islands called Diabeti, Hymos, Calce, with its city of that name, Sutlusa, Narthicusa, Diamastos, Progne, and off Sindos, Cesarusa, Therianarse and Saladni, with the three towns of Notium, Misoros, and Mendenteros. In Arconesus there is the town of Serimus. Off the coast of Caria there are the islands known as the Argai, 
twenty in number, also Hayatusa, Lepsia, and Leros. The most noted island, however, in this gulf is that of Kos, fifteen miles distant from Haliacarnassus and one hundred in circumference, according to the opinion of many writers. It was formerly called Meriope, according to Staphylus. Sea, Meropis, as Dionysus tells us, and after that Nymphia. In this island there is Mount Perion. Nisoros, formerly called Porphyrus, is supposed to have been severed from the island of Kos. We next come to the island of Caranda, with a city of that name, and that of Pedosus, not far from Halicarnassus. In the Gulf of Ceramicus we also find Preponesus, Hipponesus, Syra, Maya, Lamsa, Amnidus, Posala, Cusa, Pinacusa, Sepiusa, and Milano. At the short distance from the mainland is an island which bears the name of Synodopolis, from the circumstance that King Alexander left behind there certain persons of a most disgraceful character. Chapter 37 Samos The coast of Ionia has the islands of Tragi, Corsai, and Akaros, which has been previously mentioned. Lade, formerly called Latte, and among others of no note, the two Camelade in the vicinity of Miletus, and the three Trogili near Macale, consisting of Phileon, Argninon, and Sandalion. There is Samos also, a free island, eighty-seven miles in circumference, or, according to Isidorus, one hundred. Aristotle tells us that it was at first called Parthenia, after that Dryusa, and then Anthemusa. To these names Aristocratus has added Malamphilus and Carparisa. Other writers again call it Paritho, Narusa, and Stephanie. The rivers of this island are the Imbrasus, the Chesius, and the Ibetes. There are also the fountains of Gigartho and Leucothia and Mount Seretius. In the vicinity of Samos are the islands of Ripara, Nymphia, and Achilia. Chapter 38 Chios At a distance of ninety-four miles from Samos is the free island of Chios, its equal in fame with a town of the same name. Ephorus says that the ancient name of this island was Athalia. Metrodoros and Cleobulus tell us that it had the name of Chia from the nymph Chione. Others again say that it was so called from the word signifying snow. It was also called Macris and Pitiusa. It has a mountain called Peleneus, and the Chian marble is well known. It is 125 miles in circumference, according to the ancient writers. Isidorus, however, makes it nine more. It is situate between Samos and Lesbos, and for the most part lies opposite to Ethere. The adjacent islands are Thalusa, by some writers called Dafunsa, Enusa, Elafiates, Arianasa, and Agriansua, with a town of that name. All these islands are in the vicinity of Ephesus, as also those called the islands of Pisistratus, Anthenae, Myonosus, Darusia, in both of these last there were cities now longer in existence, Parosiliane, with a city of that name, Circei, Halone, Camone, Elisha, Lepria, and Respiria, Procusi, Bobuli, Phanai, Priapos, Psyche, Melene, Anare, Sedusa, Pele, Drymusa, and Hydros, Scopelios, Sucasa, Marathusa, Sile, Pisale, Periusa, and many others of no note. In the main sea lies the celebrated Isle of Teos, with a city of that name, seventy-one miles and a half distant from Chios, and the same from Erythrae. In the vicinity of Smyrna are the Peristeridae, Carteria, Alopeci, Eleusa, Bacchina, Sistira, Promamionosus, and Megale. Facing Troas there are the Asini and the three islands called Palatai. We find also the Lamii, the two islands called Palantii, Plate, 
scopulus, genton, arithodon, coli, lagusi, and didymi. Chapter 39. Lesbos. But Lesbos, distant from Chio, sixty-five miles, is the most celebrated of them all. It was formerly called Hermerte, Lassia, Pelagsia, Aegira, Ethiope, and Macaria, and is famous for its nine cities. Of these, however, that of Pyra has been swallowed up by the sea, Arispe has perished by an earthquake, and Methymna is now united to Antissa. These lie in the vicinity of nine cities of Asia along a coast of thirty-seven miles. The towns of Agamede and Hira have also perished. Erisos, Pirha, and the free city of Mytilene still survive, the last of which was a powerful city for a space of fifteen hundred years. The circumference of the whole island is, according to Isidorus, one hundred and sixty-eight miles, but the older writers say one hundred and ninety-five. Its mountains are Lepithymenus, or Dimnus, Machistus, Sirion, and Olympus. It is distant seven miles and a half from the nearest point of the mainland. The islands in its vicinity are Sandalion and the five called Lucy. Sardonia, which is one of them, contains a warm spring. The Argenuse are four miles distant from Age, and after them come Phalusa and Pedna. Beyond the Hellespont and opposite the shore of Sigium lies Tenedos, also known by the names of Leucophyris, Phonisi, and Lyrenesos. It is distant from Lesbos fifty-six miles and twelve and a half from Sigum. End of section 34 Recording by Joyce Martin Section 35 of The Natural History, Volume 1. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by J. Martin. The Natural History, Volume 1, by Pliny the Elder, translated by John Bostock and Henry Thomas Riley. Section 35. Chapter 40. The Hellespont and Mycia. The tide of the Hellespont now begins to run with greater violence, and the sea beats against the shore, undermining with its eddies the barriers that stand in its way, until it has succeeded in separating Asia from Europe. At this spot is the promontory which we have already mentioned as Trapeza, ten miles distance from which is the city of abydos where the straits are only seven stadia wide then the town of procotes lampascus at first called petusa the colony of parium which homer calls by the name of adrastia the town of priapos the river esepus zelia and then the propontis that being the name given to the tract of sea where it enlarges we then come to the river granicus and the harbor of arctes where a town formerly stood beyond this is an island which alexander joined to the continent and upon which is cyzesus a city of the Miletians, which was formerly called arctanesus deliones and dindemus above it are the heights of mount dindemus we then come to the town of plechia arikai and Skyles in the rear of which places is Mount Olympus, known as the Mycian Olympus, and the city of Olympina. There are also the rivers Horesius and Rhinotcus, formerly called the Lycus. This last river rises in Lake Artinius, near Miltopolis, and receives the Masetos and many other streams, dividing in its course Asia from Bithynia. This country was at first called by the name of Cronus, after that, Thessalus, and then Milianda, and Strymonis. The people of it are by Homer called Halazones, from the fact that it was a nation begirt by the sea. There was formerly a vast city here, Atusa by name. At present, there are twelve cities in existence, among which is Gordiacome, otherwise Juliopolis, 
and on the coast Descolos. We then come to the river Galbes, and in the interior the town of Helgas, or Germanicopolis, which has also the other name of Bescaite. Apamea, now more generally known as Merlia of the Colophonians, the river at Thelius, also the ancient boundary of Troas, and the commencement of Mycia. Next to this comes the gulf, into which the river Ascanus flows, the town of Barillion, and the rivers Hylaeus and Sios, with the town of the same name as the last mentioned river. It was founded by the Milesians at a place which was called Ascania of Phrygia, as an entrepot for the trade of the Phrygians who dwelt in the vicinity. We may therefore look upon this as not an eligible opportunity for making further mention of Phrygia. Chapter 41. Phrygia. Phrygia lies above Troas, and the people already mentioned as extending from the promontory of Lectum to the river Ethelus. On its northern side it borders upon Galatia, on the south it joins Lyconia, Pisidia, and Mygadonia, and on the east it touches upon Cappadocia. The more celebrated towns there, besides those already mentioned, are Acteria, Andrea, Selene, Colossae, Serena, Cotaion, Sarine, Conium, and Midium. There are authors who say that the Mosi, the Bigri, and the Thyni crossed over from Europe, and that from them are descended the peoples called the Mysi, Phrygais, and Bithyni. Chapter 42 Galatia and the Adjoining Nations on this occasion also it seems that we ought to speak of Galatia, which lies above Phrygia, and includes the greater part of the territory taken from that province, as also its former capital, Gordium. The Gauls who have settled in these parts are called the Tolistobogi, the Voturi, and the Ambituti. Those who dwell in Maonia and Apollagonia are called the Trosimi. Cappadocia stretches along to the northeast of Galatia, its most fertile parts being possessed by the Tectosages and the Tutobodiasi. These are the nations by which those parts are occupied, and they are divided into peoples and tetrarchies, 195 in number. Its towns are among the Tectosages, Anecra, among the Tracomi, Tavium, and among the Tolistobogi, Pessinus. Besides the above, the best known among the peoples of this region are the Actolenses, the Aracenses, the Comenses, the Didenses, the Hirorenses, and the Lestrini, the Neapolitani, the Edensus, the Selusensus, the Celestoni, the Timoniensenses, and the Thebacini. Galatia also touches upon Carbalia and Pamphylia, and the Meli about Baris, also upon Salanticum and Oroandicum, a district of Pisidia, and Aubazine, a part of Lyconea. Besides those already mentioned, its rivers are the Sangarius and the Galus, from which last the priests of the Mother of the Gods have taken their name. Chapter 23. Bithynia. And now, as to the remaining places on this coast, on the road from Sias into the interior is Prussia, in Bithynia, founded by Hannibal at the foot of Olympus, at a distance of twenty-five miles from Nicaea, Lake Ascanius lying between them. We then come to Nicaea, formerly called Obia, and situate at the bottom of the Ascanian Gulf, as also a second place called Prussia at the foot of Mount Hypius. Pythopolis, Paranthopolis, and Corfantia are no longer in existence. Along the coast we find the rivers Isaeus, Baraeson, Platanus, Arius, Asyros, Gidos, also called Crassororus, and the promontory upon which once stood the town of Megaris. The gulf that here runs inland received the name of Craspodites from the circumstance of that town lying, as it were, upon its skirt. A stacum also formerly stood here, from which the same gulf has received the name of the Astacinian. The town of Libisa formerly stood at the spot where we now see nothing but the tomb of Hannibal. At the bottom of the gulf lies Nicomedia, a famous city of Bithynia, 
then comes the promontory of lucatus by which the estacenian gulf is bounded and thirty-seven miles distance from nicomedia and then the land again approaching the other side the straits which extend as far as the thracian bosphorus upon these are situate chalcedon a free town sixty-two miles from nicomedia formerly called proserastus then Colpusa, and after that the city of the blind from the circumstance that its founders did not know where to build their city byzantium being only seven stadia distant a site which is preferable in every respect in the interior of bithynia are the colony of apamia the agrippenses the juliopolite the bithynion the rivers serum lafius farnasius alcus serenis lilaeus scopius and hyerus which separates bithynia from galatia beyond chalcedon formerly stood chrysopolis and then nicopolis of which the gulf upon which stands the port of amicus still retains the name then the promontory of nalocum and istai a temple of neptune we then come to the bosphorus which again separates asia from europe the distance across being half a mile it is distant twelve miles and a half from chalcedon the first entrance of this strait is eight miles and three-quarters wide at the place where the town of spiropolis formerly stood the thyni occupy the whole of the coast the bithyni the interior this is the termination of asia and of the two hundred and eighty-two peoples that are to be found between the gulf of lycia and this spot we have already mentioned the length of the hellespont and propontis to the thracian bosphorus as being two hundred and thirty nine miles from calidon to sigum isidorus makes the distance three hundred and twenty two and one half chapter forty four the islands of the propontis the islands of the propontis are before zyzicus elephonesis from which comes the cyzecan marble it is also known by the names of norris and proconesis next comes ophiusa acanthus phoebe scopelos porphyroni halone with a city of that name delphatia polydora and artesion with its city there is also opposite to nicomedia Demonosis, and beyond Herculea, and opposite to Bithynia, the island of Thaneus, by the barbarians called Bithynia, and the island of Antiocha, and at the mouth of the Rhinodacus, Bespicos, eighteen miles in circumference, the islands also of Alea, the two called Rodusai, and those of Erebinthus, Megale, Chalcetus, and Pitiodes. Summary towns and nations spoken of noted rivers famous mountains islands one hundred and eighteen in number people or towns no longer in existence remarkable events narratives and observations roman authors quoted agrippa sectonius paulinus m varro varro adicinus cornelius nepos hyginus elvetus mila domitius Carbulo, Lucinius, Macanus, Claudius Caesar, Arudius, Livrus the Son, Sebosus the Register of the Triumphs. Foreign authors quoted King Juba, Hecatius, Hellenicus, Damastes, Diarchus, Betun, Timosthenes, Philonides, Xenagoras, Astinomus, Staphyleus, Aristoteles, Aristocritus, Dionysus, Ephorus, Aristothenus, Hipparchus, Panateus, Serapion of Antioch, Callimachus, Agathocles, Polybius, Timaeus the mathematician, Herodotus, Mercilus, Alexander Polyhistor, Metrodorus, Poseidonius, who wrote the Periplus, and the Perigesus, Soltades, Periander, Aristarchus of Sicon, Zeudorus, Antiogenes, Callicrates, Xenophon of Lampsacrus, Diodorus of Syracuse, Hanno, Emilco, 
Nipidorus, Caliphanes, Artemidorus, Megasthenes, Isidorus, Cleobulus, and Aristocreon. End of section 35. Recording by J. Martin. End of the Natural History, Volume 1 of Pliny the Elder, translated by John Bostock and Henry Thomas Riley.